Welcome to the Bluefin Hangout. Bandai Dave here with my three best friends in the world. Justin, how are you doing today? <laughs> I am fabulous. Thank you for that amazing intro. Love it. You're, you're welcome. Mr. Clark, always a pleasure to have you as our guest. We're probably just going to make this official. We're going to all have to be blood brothers or something and you know <laughs> jump you into the pack here. How are you doing today? <laughs> I'm doing, I mean, it's Friday. It's Friday. It, I can only be doing good today. That's right. It's Friday. <laughs> Speaking of yay, AJ, how are you doing today? There you go. It rhymes. That's fantastic. As long as we're not doing any blood packs or anything like that, we're cool with this. You know, so I'm very excited for today. Nice. Well, Fridays we wear jerseys, and we're all kind of wearing different jerseys today. Usually I wear the I'm Giants, not. but I'm repping the Expos, you know, Vladimir Guerrero. Justin's got a got a very special jersey on. You want you want to show off the jersey there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So normally I wear a Mariners jersey, and today I have a geeky jersey. It's uh, Skeletor, Lords of Destruction. It was a gift from my buddy Coop, who uh, watches these streams. So thank you very much. Very excited hey, about that. Awesome. And David, you wear an esports jersey? What you got there? What team you on? Yes. Yeah, so this- this is my uh, my favorite team from the Overwatch League, uh, the Seoul Dynasty from uh, Seoul, uh, South Korea. So I uh, I have like four jerseys of this. I have the flip flops, the the shorts, everything. I love this team. <laughs> wow, <laughs> got everything. The I, 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 I actually <laughs> played against like the Korean uh, team that won the World Champions at like BlizzCon like four years ago. We were we were doing a bunch of interviews with them, and they said, "Hey, does anyone want to play against them?" I'm like, "Sure, why not? How good can they be?" And they were very good. <laughs> I'm already a, a subpar Overwatch player as it is, and uh, it would be like if I gave my three-year-old niece a controller and said, "Okay, boot up." <laughs> they just they murderized me quick, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Uh, you know, I think we want to talk about real quick is our giveaway we're doing at BluefinBrands.com/slash/contest. We're doing an amazing giveaway for a set of the Ava frame from Shokugan. You know, it's going to come with. Ava Unit 1, we got Ava Unit 0, Ava Unit 2 is chilling back there on the shelf, you can't you can't see it, but it's back there. Uh, comes with these really, really cool stands, comes with a lot of fun weapons and accessories, and you can win one for free. All you gotta do is go to bluefinbrands.com slash contest, uh, and you know, there's many ways to enter there, you visit a couple websites, you know, maybe follow a couple social channels, um, whatever you want to do, uh, you can enter as, as many or as few times as you want. Obviously, the more you enter, the better your chances. You can actually do it daily. I think we have uh, how much longer? Three days. Three days. Wow. So you can enter all three time. days. So uh, definitely, uh, definitely get in there. They're really, really cool. You know, the the posability and articulation are are incredible. You know, Shokugan does a really, really good job of, you know, bridging that gap between like the small scale figures and you know actual you know Bandai model kits. So, movementbrands.com slash contest. Right. Easy peasy. Yeah. And of course, in front of me, you can see the mighty Ichiban statues. Uh, we did a bunch of videos on these uh, yesterday. They should be appearing on our YouTube channel over the course of probably this weekend or early next week. Uh, and uh, you so make sure to go to Bluefin Video on our YouTube channel. We'll also try to share them on our social channels as well. But uh, these are just great. You know, we have two kinds of sets. We have the Master Lies and we have uh, the, the Doken Battle. Uh, and uh, they are super articulated. And actually, my favorite is on our shelf, and it's going to be back here forever. But, oh, no, that, that was almost a disaster. Uh, so, anyone who has seen Dragon Ball knows that they have the, the great bumpers where you have little little tiny Gohan reaching through uh, Goku's, Goku's arm to see, hey, what's going on over there? And uh, they've recreated it just amazingly. And uh, I think I'll have to pick that one up. I love it so much. So <laughs> You're holding it right now. I am. <laughs> I'm never giving it back. <laughs> Mr. Oh, Clark right. has a turtle named Gohan. I do, yeah. And fun fact about that statue, that is the most time Gohan has ever spent with Goku. Right there, actually. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Did Goku literally came back from the dead to, you know, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> you can call him a bad dad all you uh, want. Neglectful. Piccolo is his real dad. Piccolo is the real dad. <laughs> <laughs> So, Justin, what do we got going on today? We got all kinds of stuff. I just want to say thank you to Toku Texas Cosplay for Bluefin just killing it with all the new products. So that's awesome. Thank you very much. We're trying very, very hard. Thank you, Toku Texas. Yes. Oh, and also, when is Rider Time was a follow-up question. To that. <laughs> it is always Every Rider Time. time. Yeah. <laughs> when is it not Rider? I, I, you know, another <clears throat> side tangent. I've gotten at least four people that work for Bluefin who have been hounding me almost daily for Team Rider jerseys, and I'm like, 
We got to oh, be part of Team Rider oh, to get Team Rider to get a Team Rider jersey. Oh, I, I just want to put it out there. I have told Clark jerseys, and I know on our Twitter, you know, Kaiju Carl and like Reggie, oh, they're not no. going to stop. <laughs> so, <laughs> Clark, you better make sure you get on once it. the next once the next writer <laughs> is revealed and we get our colors for the year, we will we will we will revisit the jersey thing. <laughs> I told nice. him it was a very special and exclusive group that the four of us are in. And uh, but they, they they weren't buying it. One of them may or may not be our CEO who. who oh who, no! Who has some, he's got some jersey envy. He sees uh, he sees what we got. He sees that owada has got one. He's like, Oh, Dave, we're, where's okay, mine at? We're doing another order. I promise it's going to happen. <laughs> nice. It's fine. I love yeah. jerseys. I'll I'll wear them all day long. I uh, someone okay. actually shouted out like, "Yo, Team Rider!" in the Target parking lot when I was wearing my jersey once. <laughs> oh, that's crazy! Yeah. Huh. Look at you. Changing the world, exciting in the in the wild, yeah. yeah. So I'm sorry, Justin. I interrupted you. Uh, what were you saying? Got a lot going on. We do. So uh, I think it would be fun to do a little recap. We've been announcing stuff like crazy over the last couple of weeks, and so uh, we're just gonna go brand by brand and just kind of uh, just give a little, quick little shout out shout outs to all the new stuff that's that's coming out and when to expect it, how much it costs, um, if it's available on our side, if it's available everywhere else. Uh, whatever the case may be. But these will all be pre-order items. Um, it's up to you if you want to grab them or if you want to wait. Uh, you do you. We are not going to tell you how to live your lives on this Bluefin Hangout. Yeah. Um, and but, let us know in the uh, comments which ones you like the best. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot. I got like I got like 33 slides. <laughs> so, <laughs> try, most of them all begin with, uh, with Clark's brands because he has a hard out at 1125. He is a very important man. He sought out across this this right. company and he's got meetings to attend <laughs> he's he's to make also, Justin, i i did see a question in the comments asking about the full version of the henching together video uh we got a brand new guy who like does editing and video magic and stuff he's working on it guys he like, he just started so give him give him like a second yeah. <laughs> Takes time. Yeah. all the footage may or may not be in a red thumb drive in my bag over here that i have to give to him on Monday. <laughs> it is coming it is coming. cannot confirm nor deny yeah. Actually, I, can, oh. I, can conf I can confirm and then uh also real quick um you know premium bandai and tamashi had that announcement yesterday that the ship has come in for all those delayed uh pre-order items from premium bandai specifically like the ultra instinct goku sign and then the androids the the Zero Two Metal Bill, the Go On, Iron Man, Scarlet Witch, all that stuff. Uh, it has made it to our shore. It has made it to our fulfillment facility. And uh, we are in the process of tearing open all those boxes and getting them sorted out to ship to you. And I hopefully you will have them by the end of the month. So, cool. Very Excellent excited about news. Them. Very good yes. news. Yes, they, they did not plummet to the bottom of the sea. They were inside the cargo hold of the ship, which uh, they still could have suffered damage, but they didn't. They were inspected. Everything is good to go. And they're finally here. And sorry for the delay. But obviously, we have no control over the weather. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'll call you back that know. pink team. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just watching green dots on a map, and I'm like, oh, man, check this out. It's, it's almost here. No, nope, no, nope, it's going away. It's going somewhere else. Oh, yeah, why is the boat going the wrong direction? <laughs> See, Justin, that's, the wrong, one. that's the wrong dot. Yeah. America's this way. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so there is that. Uh, but right off the bat, um, Dave, if you want to take it away, you got this uh, amazing. Yeah. Movie. So whoa, very excited about this one, the Super Galaxy Guru Lagan. Uh, anybody who watched the show back in the day knows that it, it was more than an anime. It was an experience. <laughs> and uh, this is one of the super forms of the Guru Lagan. This one stands at eight point six inches tall. Like. It looks like it's almost double the size of the Gurren Lagan kit that we released. <laughs> yeah. So I, I am very excited about this. Uh, you know, you, you can uh, combine the drills on the shoulders to make a super huge drill. You can throw oh, the uh, well, don't throw the glasses, but like you can pretend <laughs> like you throw the glasses. <laughs> Do not actually throw the glasses. Uh, <laughs> but no, it's a uh, really cool. And I, I just got done building the Gurren Lagan kit, which is amazing. Um, I just picked up the Lazengan, which uh, just hit our warehouse like three weeks ago. Uh, and so now I'm hyped to see this. And don't worry, guys. I have already started asking for a Tengen top of Gurren Lagann as well. Because hmm. um, I, I need to have that in my collection. I need to have all of them. I need, need them to be ridiculously huge, you know, as it gets bigger and bigger. So, <laughs> cool. so where will you be putting I, this in your stuff? <laughs> Dude, I don't even know. Like, because <laughs> it's huge. Like, it's basically, like, it's the size. 
Like it's it's the size of the Giger, basically. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> so real, find... real, real talk, Clark. The the gunpla in the box g- become much smaller once you take them out of the box and assemble <laughs> them. So you have so much more room if you just if you just build gunpla. I I am building it, but this one has to. I mean, look at look at it. It's huge. He has. He's huge. I gotta build him first. He's like he's dang near perfect grade size almost. <laughs> oh shoot! Nice. He's huge. Uh, but yeah, look, I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, the pre-order uh, uh, starts today, uh, and, and it'll be coming out in September. So uh, you know, look, keep an eye out for that, and uh, you know, please keep continuing to show your support for this line because I really would like a Tang and Tapa that's like eight feet tall. I don't so, even know ooh. what the words are that you're saying. <laughs> right. Like Jenga, like the <laughs> game with the wood blocks. So, 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 Tang and Tapa Girl like, and you should watch the show. It's amazing. The sure. final form of the robot, he's standing like. On reality, almost, and oh they can like God. throw galaxies as shuriken. So, like, <laughs> is that what he's doing right there? What's the, that red thing? No, no, in no, his hands no. Right this, now? Are those the glasses. This is, this is the smaller version <laughs> okay. of it. This is what I, I think. I believe this is one where this ship was part of the moon, and mm-hmm. then they fused with the moon. But then eventually they fused with like I think like reality or some or some BS. And then oh, he just we're becomes, not in its final form. <laughs> yeah, and he just throws yeah. shurikens, which are galaxies, and I love that. So I need that. Oh my kit. Gosh. And I need to be human sized so I can have the accurate representation. So sure, <laughs> there you go. It's a big, it's a big robot. And Sentinel Vader likes to use. Fist. Oh yeah, go uh, ahead. I was gonna say, Mr. Vader Fist says, "I love David Clark's enthusiasm." So you know he's the right brand manager for this. <laughs> right, right. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. he also got his Meisho Mandalorian the other day, and very yeah. excited. O M F G! It's glorious in caps, screaming at us. Oh, I saw a comment uh, about when we're going to get the Sengoku driver. It is on the water right now. Uh, once it gets to us and through, you know, all the customs and everything, it will be out to you guys as soon as we possibly can. But it, it is coming, guys. It is coming. Cool. And Justin, I mentioned the Mandalorian uh, kind of hidden people's hands. Uh, if you're in the New York area and you're looking to uh, to pick up the Mandalorian, there is a very, very small quantity of the premium Bondi Mandalorian Meisho figures at the pop-up shop in New York City. Sweet, wow. which closes, uh, which ends on April 25th. It is open yes. daily from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m., but once Sunday, April 25th is over, is, so is the pop-up shop. Oh, no. And it's sad. I was just going to say. <laughs> <and> it's sad. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, uh, another comment uh, asking for the pre-order date for the Furai model Dino Megazord. The moment I'm allowed to tell you guys, trust me, it's going to be very loud. <laughs> we gonna tell everybody. <laughs> yeah, well, just gotta follow us. I have flame, so F- flame toys yeah. US. Yeah, flame US. toys US. Yeah. That's the one. We and, will not and, keep it secret. <laughs> right. No, yeah. It'll probably come around like <laughs> two in the morning. Flame likes like, to make <gasps> announcements at two in the morning. Like, Megazord. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then we also have the Kirishima lock seat set. Uh, you know, for Zangetsu and uh, I guess also Ryugan. Um, Michi knows what he did. <laughs> uh, this lock seat coming out, it's got uh, five different uh, face plates, it's got you know, six different lock seats, including you know, obviously the, the, the best lock seat ever, Katadoki, uh, which I'm hyped for. Uh, make sure you guys pre order this because, as you guys know, CSM's like they don't just make more of these, <laughs> like it's usually <laughs> a one and done. So, make sure you get, you get your order in, uh, and uh, it should be coming out in November 2021. Uh, you know, definitely don't miss out on this because everyone, everyone loves Katadoki. Cool. I don't know if it's but, true, but I've said it, so it's now yeah, it's out there now. <laughs> it's factual. Okay. Question: If if I had the uh, the guy CSM, and then I have this, am I am I done, or is there a potential for something else to be added to the CSM belt? <laughs> you you thought you were done? No, <laughs> no. There's, yeah, there's a lot of memes never, going to, on. To, to quote about, zero one, but... it's never over. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, there's memes checking. where like, is your wallet hurting from all these uh, Gaim CSM announcements? And so, pretty sure a lot of people are saying yes. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty, see, I I I planned it out. I just got an entire credit card just called oh Gaim. Goodness. Oh my gosh! <laughs> hey, them so, yeah. This That's is gonna this, be a this, no this from me, dog. Awesome. <laughs> da- David's having a little Scooby Doo moment. He's like going on one side and <laughs> coming out the other. It's amazing. <laughs> Love it. Oh uh, man, but yeah. Uh, real, real quick, um, Joe Little says, "Gotcha, man, please." And um, yeah, we're with you, man. Storm Collectibles is working on it. It's a it's a process, but I know it was <laughs> announced like a year ago. But uh, it's coming. It's coming. Yeah. Ooh, then, here we go. 
the the uh, <laughs> the infamous <laughs> Windblade model kit. Uh, you know, uh, pre-order is actually right now. So you know, uh, if you wanted one, please make sure you let your local store know. Um, you know, or you can go online to like TF Source, Big Bad Toy Store, uh, and you can pre-order it. Uh, she will be coming out uh, in November. Uh, I'm actually getting several of these. Uh, my plan is to put at least one of her on the <laughs> Snake Eyes bike. So I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, she's very awesome. Uh, she's actually what she's, I think, right now, the most detailed flame kit that they've ever made. Um, like the process for producing. Uh, this model kit was different than the other ones. So, sure. and until the Dino Megazord comes out, I think she holds the title of, as the <laughs> the most complex flame kit so far. So, sure, uh, that's probably fair. I think I think the Rodimus one always looked really good too. I liked all the poses and the articulation on that one. And then when I saw this one, it was like a jaw dropping moment. I was like, "Holy smokes!" Yeah, yeah, it was like it's hero crazy. pose landing pretty well. So. Yeah, yeah, the hero landing is like always <laughs> like one of the first poses. Mm -hmm. uh, for, Is that for, all right? Me, that, that, that means that, that means she can do a uh, she can do a sniper pose too. And, and when it comes to my my robot model kits, I love doing the sniper pose. So, so you said you're getting three awesome. of those. I'm probably getting more than three to to be honest. If I'm I think being, I figure out I'm, the problem with your backlog. <laughs> <laughs> the quantity problem. <laughs> uh, I know. I know. And then uh, we have Tekka Man Evil uh, coming from the Whoa. real bot line from Sentinel. This one. I mean, for anyone who's been watching these streams with me on it long enough, you already know why I'm buying this. It's red and black. I mean, <laughs> that, yeah. that was kind of it. That that was all <laughs> I need to know. Uh, but also, you can see the, the lower right hand, it's got uh, this cool little, like, four-sided weapon, which I'm just going to call a shuriken. So I knew it. <laughs> it's, it's red and black and has a shuriken, so I must buy it. Sure. <laughs> yeah, and I promise I'm only going to buy one, I think. Sentinel likes words like Reobot and Playobot. <laughs> they make up stuff. But but you know what? You do remember the, the names, though. They do stick I do. out to you. I do. So, I mean, I have to write I, it down all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so that helps. <laughs> and this one's actually on bluefinbrands.com, right, David? I believe so, yes. Perfect. Cool. Yeah, and, and, and there's, there's also the, the reissue uh, for the regular Tekka Man uh, Reobot, which came out last year, uh, which... Uh, you may have missed out on because the pre-order started right when the world collapsed. So mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you may have not paid attention to it when you were trying to not die. So is that the Tekaman Blade? Yeah, Tekaman Blade, the the All white right. one, the one, the one okay, that the one that goes against this one. <laughs> okay. Our good yeah. friend Kelly from New York had just asked, "When are we getting Tekaman Blade reissue?" So you guys now. are on like the same wavelength. There you go. <laughs> right now, <laughs> yeah. I did it right hey, now Kelly. for you. Hey Kelly. Hi oh, Kelly. Yeah. What's up, Kelly? <laughs> Got an insane uh, Transformers collection too, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Kelly loves yeah, the Transformers. Pretty cool. Much it. And then this is from. Uh, so this is actually from a group called Number Fifty Seven, uh, which uh, you know we we work with through Sentinel. Uh, they do uh, like little miniature model kits, which is pretty cool. This is a, a Honora, which is a like a, a green version of the Oni Flame that we did last year. Um, these ones are really cool because you can build multiple configurations um, out of a single box. Uh, and they have like these cool little bases that you can kind of like make uh, all kinds of cool configurations. It's kind of like a miniature version of the chain base for those who um, you know who know what that is. Uh, and as you know, it has a shuriken. I so, knew it. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, that um, is, that is kind of input over there. <laughs> I know is, the theme of what I, we're I going for for model kits. I didn't even to do that. I just saw that and I was like, I need a bunch of these because I need to be just having all kinds of shurikens thrown. So does it come in red uh, and black? The only flame, the, the original one was red and black, yes. Oh, okay. sure. yeah. So I had multiple images to choose from, Clark, and I chose this one specifically <laughs> for you. <laughs> I, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, I just see the pitch meetings going like, what's well, got articulate? This point, these are articulation points. This is the size. This is, but what about what's the shuriken situation here? Yeah. I mean, truth be told, even from the uh, 30 minute mission line, I actually bought four of one of the armor packs so I could give it a giant shuriken. Like, oh it's got gosh. a gun and everything else, and then just a random shuriken. So. That's right. <laughs> Passionate is what I'm going to say. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, so and what then, the heck uh, are desktop armies? This yeah, so new. these are uh, uh, these little cute little figures from Mega House, which, by the way, guys, if you missed it, we are carrying Mega House now, so yay. Uh, so these are these little, these little uh, figures from their original line, uh, desktop army. Uh, you, you get... Uh, if you buy like the full box, you get all three. 
Uh, if you buy just one part of it, it's a, like a blind. Um, but if you buy the whole box, you're guaranteed to get all three figures. Um, they have different hard points so they can be customized. And there's other um, desktop army things, like kind of like mechas that, that they can fit in as well, which I believe that should be the next image, right? Maybe. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> wow, they can he's fit, really good at guessing this. <laughs> they can <laughs> they can fit in the in the in these giant in the, these, these giant cool mecha things. So they're really cool. I mean, they're fun for your desktop. You know, as you know, the name implies said by the name. Mm-hmm. The name yeah. implies. You know, they, they they are definitely good for that. But yeah, they're they're really cool for people who just like little mecha uh, girls and mecha things, just like on their desk. So it must I, get I, hot I like in this them. in this mobile suit thingy because she's not wearing a whole lot of clothes. That is, I, I assume, the canonical reason. Yes. Okay. <laughs> she needs to wear more clothes so she can hide the shurikens. Yeah. See that? That's that's big brain. She needs a coat right with there. like thirty pockets and and a yeah. shuriken in each pocket. Uh, like, want to buy a watch? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Or that. laughs> Just be a shuriken. <laughs> there you go. And then this one is really cool. It's uh from the, uh, their Gundam Guys Generation line of statues. This is a uh, Camille Bidon. Uh, the main character is Ada Gundam, which is like one of my top three favorite series. Uh, this is a really cool uh, statue. It has swappable head pieces, so you can have just his regular face, or you can have it with like the helmet, and or the helmet with like the uh, the visor down as well. Uh, so you have some options. And uh, I'm hyped for this line because one, I love Ada Gundam. Uh, Camille is a cool character, but also it means we should, might be getting some other Gundam generation statues as well, so I can start my collection. Uh, I would love a Judah uh, Ashta so I can put it next to my double Zeta. That would be great. Mega House, right. if you're listening, please. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm pretty hyped for this. They did a lot of details from it. This, this is from episode 50. Like they took like a, like a screenshot from episode 50. It made this character, uh, this statue based off of that. So uh, very excited for this. So yeah. Sweet. <laughs> hey, and look at that. We got through all your stuff and you have two minutes to spare. Yeah. Right. So thank you very much for joining us. You are the best. No problem. I'll see you later, guys. And yes, I know jerseys. I know. <laughs> it's, cool. it's top of the to-do list. Right <laughs> after shurikens. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll see Bye, you Dave. Thanks. See ya. Bye, David. And then, uh, real quick, since we're on Dragon Ball now, um, Andrew, talk about the SS3 Goku SH figure arts reissue rumor. Oh. oh, oh. Whoa. Not a lot to talk about. There's nothing there. Yeah. I wish I could help you out. Just, but uh, then- Consider sources. That's really all we can say, I guess. You know, if, if it's not coming from Tamashi Nations, and if Tamashi Nations is saying there is no plans at this time, you know, where there where where there's no smoke, there's no fire type situation. It's the opposite. So, uh, I would uh, as soon as there is an official reissue, uh, you can be sure that at Tamashi Nations and at Bluefin Brands. We'll shout it from the rooftops the instant it happens because yeah. there, that is one of the two most requested things that we get. There are a complete Twitter accounts whose whole purpose is to tag us and tweet at us, you know, as SSJ three Goku when question mark. Right. So, yeah. So as soon as it, as soon as it becomes a thing, if there, if, if there is going to be a future reissue, uh, you know, one of the official channels will let you know. There you go. It is known, <laughs> but but Andrew, there will be some 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 really really awesome announcements coming in the future for Dragon Ball and SH Figure Arts. As you know, Comic Con's coming up, and there's always cool stuff for Comic Con. So you know, uh, stay tuned, and uh, there will be a lot of fun announcements on Bluefin Brand at Bluefin Brands and at Tomashi Nations. Uh, so just keep your eyes there, and if you're part of any of like the Figure Arts groups on Facebook, you know they'll plaster it all over there as well. Right, one hundred percent. And then uh, here's a fun question that we always get. Uh, any chance Bluefin being able to ship to Canada? I often see wicked deals from Storm Collectibles, but they don't ship to Canada. And uh, we, I, <laughs> I, I, I am your champion. I bring this up all the time. There's a lot of licensing issues. There's uh, customs issues. And uh, it's just, there's a lot of red tape. And there, I can, if you can imagine the amount of tape that goes from Japan to the United States to Canada... That is what I'm trying to cut through, and it is it is a lot. I need uh, one of Clark Sharukins to cut through it, and <laughs> I definitely want to get all of our sales up to uh, Canada as well. Um, shout out to Darth Ruckus, who also wants us to ship to Canada as well. <laughs> uh, we see your we see your comments, and definitely want this to happen. I wanted to make it a reality. Uh, there is EB Games in Canada, which will supply Bluefin items, but um storm specifically um you know with our deals 
uh, it's still uh, an uphill battle, but definitely trying to make it work. Uh, in the meantime, there are some outlets like, you know, a uh, big bad toy store that ship internationally. So that might have to be your uh, temporary solution until we can deliver to Canada. I hope that helps answer your question. Yeah. So it is uh, something then, we are definitely trying to do. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> but uh, as much as, as much as we are friendly and love our neighbors to the North, it is, it is still a different country. And as soon as you cross, you know, the, the international borders, just everything gets weird as far as, you know, shipping and distribution and like Justin was mentioning license and stuff like that. But yeah, Justin is trying. <laughs> yes, it is. It is a process. Not going to lie. Um, but uh, on another note, uh, Bandai Ichiban show it announced these awesome statues, which I'm very excited about because I love the Dragon Ball Z there. And you got your Kaoken Goku and Vegeta and Nappa. Nappa's actually 10 inches tall. He's a beast. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, compared to that Cyberman, that's like uh, just under four inches tall. And um, each one of these figures retails for $36 each. And they are available for pre-order with through our retail partners. Nice. Those are really Gotta good statues, Vegeta. too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. His face looks great. I don't know. I think all of them look amazing. They yeah, uh, like come a long way. I think uh, someone had just shared on our Twitter for Team Common Rider the shooting wolf that he just purchased. And he's like, well, this thing is huge. And I'm like, dude, they look good. They're good display pieces. So Ichibancho is definitely my go to for affordable uh, display <laughs> oh, yeah. figures. Yeah, and, the, uh, paint app, the paint apps are great. Like the shadow, like, you mm -hmm. know, just the shading and stuff, you know, makes it look like the lights hitting them. They look just like they're popping out of the anime. You know, a lot of them come with like the translucent, like, effect parts. Um, yeah, super awesome. Yeah, like that trunks that you have right in front of you, uh, it's gorgeous. Oh, it's got man. a giant sword. He's got the effect parts that, you know, you can that you can have on or off if if you don't want him to go be going full Super Saiyan. But uh, uh, yeah, he's super cool. He's got this nice lunging pose. So they give you like the clear. The clear piece to to balance them on and nice. looks great on yourself. Yeah, and if you and suck at posing like I do, <laughs> they do the work for you. <laughs> do the work for it's you set for you. All right. Yeah, that's great. And when uh, hopefully when trade shows become a thing again and we can go back to comic cons, uh, we always have awesome displays for Ichiban statues. And sometimes there's even a deal like buy one get one whatever half off. So uh, that's the time to pounce. Can't Speaking take only time. Shows. Comic yeah. Con somewhat. Mr. Vader Fist asked if we'll be going to NYCC. Hmm. Some I would of love us to go will. back to New York. <laughs> Some Mr. of us Cavender will. won't. I will not. I will be busy getting married on that day. Yay. <laughs> off off on my on my honeymoon while you guys are setting up booths and tearing down booths and going crazy. So sorry I'll miss it. Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> we we definitely will be at uh, well I shouldn't say definitely who knows what the state of the world right now but at, at this point we are planning to attend New York Comic Con uh, as well as Anime NYC in the same region a month later um, but obviously things could change if the pandemic does not go away yeah gotta gotta wear your mask there oh man so AJ he's our he's our subject matter expert when it comes to super robots do you want to give us a quick rundown on the getter robo um, I'm not too good on this one specifically, but I will say because it is a Chogokin, I expect a lot of good things from them. Like the Chogokin line is so nice to have, like just as a display piece and just to mess around with. Like I love diecast toys and I don't know. There's just something about the like diecast. Like it feels good in your hands and that's what I want. You know, I don't want lightweight uh, figures where I'm like, oh, this feels like less than a pound. What is this? <laughs> you know, I, I want <laughs> like, on your scale. Yeah, like especially if it's like a robot, you know, like sure. I want some heft to it. So, uh, some seeing these, uh, for some of the first time, I will say they look really good. Like that thing, like it comes with a whip, and I love that. Uh, and a ball oh, and chain, look at that a ball and chain with big hands. This is the way to go. <laughs> it's not messing around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this, is a, this is a three part robot, right? It's, it's yeah. three parts. I can't imagine how big this is going to be. Usually, Chogokins are pretty large as well. So, oh, it comes with a display base too, like usual. I love, I love that. Oh man, yeah, and this beautiful. is two ninety. Uh, is that what? I think it's two fifty. Oh, yeah. even better. Nice. Yeah, this is gorgeous. uh 
Wow. Yeah, speaking of solo joking, we uh we 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 busted open the uh the Gordian Warrior the other day and we did a nice video that'll be on our YouTube channel. I know I keep plugging it. Uh but it is just it's just so cool and like all the other ones, like AJ said, it has the fun little display on the back. You know, if you haven't seen the anime, they kind of nest into each other. So you have Dago who goes into the first robot that's Protessor that goes into Dillinger, who's the second robot, and I believe Garbin is the biggest robot, and uh they're like Japanese nesting robots <laughs> I, I also just seeing the box also i don't remember the the silver lettering being that foil and shiny uh i think i'm more attracted to this box <laughs> yeah never gonna open it beautiful oh, yeah, and super that cool is a beautiful box yeah as soon as, as soon as we saw the images and the videos i was like oh man i want to i want this thing <laughs> and then I, got yeah. it, I was all playing with it and i'm like man, this is the coolest thing ever yeah no i man. agree 100 percent yeah. Oh, yeah, I love that you can change and you know pose them the way you want. Yeah, as vehicles or the robot itself is actually art. This is very true. Very true. <laughs> There's some really like thought out stuff for their box art. It's like uh, we did share the CSM for recently with Clark behind it, and that box art looks just as good too. So, you know, what are yeah. thinks of these ideas? <laughs> I agree. It's the funny thing about common rider uh, like driver boxes. Like I never want to throw them away. I'm like I try, I'm super careful and like opening it, and then I just I have a pile of boxes. I'm like oh, uh-huh. I don't know what I do with this, but they look too cool to, to destroy. But yeah, shout yeah. out to that team who has to design all that. Yeah, I don't want to tell Clark, but I needed to elevate my webcam on my on my on my MacBook, so uh, it's actually resting on top of one of his CSM boxes. So. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> what happens when you leave your stuff in my studio, David? Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's a giant coaster. Works out great. Cool. Man. All right, AJ, let's talk about robot spirits. These are kind of cool because these are like uh, an SH figure arts in a robot form, basically. Yeah, for sure. I, I love that. Sometimes, you know, I'm not like Clark where I need to build everything. Uh, I do like my figures as well, especially all my articulation. Um, and yeah, you can get that definitely from like bottle kits. But at the same time, I just don't have the time to build a model kit so for me (laughs) those robot spirits just come in handy also like there's really cool effect parts that come from the robot spirits line and i use it quite often enough with uh not just the gundam but for my other sh figures so uh i think this line in general like it's great like this one comes with like the little uh what is that like truck yeah it's uh, a little the bed for him to lay on Mm -hmm. it's pretty cool uh, and yeah, those effect parts are pretty gnarly. And when we have effect sets, they usually sell pretty quickly. Yeah, you got yeah, like jetpack effects and gun mm-hmm. blasting effects, like the, mm-hmm. the muzzle flash and all that stuff. It's pretty rad. Like that, like yeah, he's got right, a little jetpack right there. Out. Yeah, his <laughs> backpack for example. Yeah, it's like a water pick. Yeah. I don't have to water. imagine it. It actually shows it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah robot spirits, and you know their their spiritual cousin, Gundam Universe. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm with AJ. You know, I love I love a good figure. I'm I'm an action figure kind of guy, um, and uh, yeah, the robot spirits are are definitely items that I've been picking up lately. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're cool. Oh, here we go, Ooh. Godzilla 1989, Godzilla versus Biollante. This is of course the SH Monster Arts, and uh, we had the that special color version of Biollante come out a couple months ago. And uh, it was a hit. Everyone loved it. And now you have a Godzilla to pair with it. And these were the two of them were on display at that Tamashi Nations digital event last October, November, whenever that was. They looked gorgeous. Wow. Honestly, I'm not good with my Godzilla years. And there used there was one Comic Con year where this child came up and was saying, like, "I need like 1970 something Godzilla." And I remember, I don't forget who was at the cashier at that time. They're like, this one? The kid's like, no, that's not it. That's like 1990-something. Godzilla, I'm like, wow, this kid recognizes each one. Like, <laughs> that's something I can't do right from the get-go. So, you know, shout out to uh, people who can recognize uh, Godzilla and what year, you know, that design is from. So Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. It's like that kid that just knows every dinosaur or every mm-hmm. breed of shark or something. It's like, whoa. Yeah. Like I think for this, it's like what the spines look a little bit different than our usual mm-hmm. Godzilla that we're used to. So long old tail too. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I September love it. release. Ooh. Ooh, here we go for all you One Piece fans out there. 
thing. Flashing uh, pirates. <laughs> <laughs> I was just talking to my friend about this, about the intro, the uh, the English intro where he goes like, "I've left everything I have in one place," and I think that was like the four kids version. And I'm just like, "One place." The show's called One Piece, like <laughs> very, very close. <laughs> in one job. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, this is a really cool looking statue, and I think uh, for me, the figure at zero line is. I, I love it. Like because they're all so actiony, uh, they just stay at a pose that I love. That I'm not gonna change. Like, I mean, I'd love to change it because again, I love my figures, but I'll take it for this. You know, we yeah. get a lot of Goldie Roger stuff. So, no, I, I agree. September, cool. Ooh, on the Storm oh, collectibles. Man. I know everyone's <laughs> excited about that. I, I've been reading the chat with Storm. There's a lot of like uh, some Storm. Like I know we had someone ask about the Gotcha Man. Uh, and I know, oh, let's see, Jason Schwab has uh, given us his ten uh, top ten future MK figures. You know, where we see it. So you know, shout like when you put this stuff out there, when you tell us what you want. And you know, this is stuff we do share with the brand managers too. So like, hey man, you could send this to Storm because you know there's people out there who really want these, and it's not just one person. There's a handful of them. Sure. So yeah. Do you, uh, so his list is. Uh, no, we'll start from ten and go down to one. Do you have yeah, it in front of you? so I I do. So his number ten is Cyber Sub Zero. Ooh, that's a good one. Right. And his number nine is Reiko. Uh, I don't remember the character too well. So I think uh, that's the dude that had like the sort of the Batman visor thing oh, going on, and okay. I think and he had. Uh, I think he was a Shuriken guy, like uh, Clark Lex. <laughs> there you go. There, <laughs> if it comes to the Shuriken, that's someone we need to make immediately. I we could be Clark wrong that storm. And I think uh, he was even black and red. I think he was like totally like a Clark <laughs> character. He had sort of like this maroon. If I remember correctly, he had like sort of this maroon and black gi type thing on. Mm-hmm. But it's been a while. His eight is Shang Sun. I think uh, that's something. A lot of fans would love to have. Uh, so I would put that one higher for me. Uh, his number seven is UMK3 Noob Cybot. Uh, that's pretty neat. I love Cybot. Uh, and Noob Cybot is something to have. Uh, number six is MK3 Cabal. Uh, I do know a lot of fans do want a Cabal already. So, mm-hmm. you know. With his I crazy big head face. Yeah. So he's all yelling yeah. at everybody. Always hated playing against Cabal because he had like <laughs> he had like an 80 percent combo or something in Ultimate Mortal Kombat three, where like he would like spin through you, do like this nine person kick, and then like he would like throw you up, and then he'd do his little buzzsaw, and the next thing you know, like wow, yeah. I was just would... say I'm not putting my quarters out for that guy. <laughs> right, yeah. right. You throw him up, and then he hits you with his blaster in the air, and then when you land, you would land on his little spinny blade of of death. It's awful Ooh. cheater. <laughs> is is Shang Soon? Is he is he old Shang Soon or does he want a young Shang Soon? Do we know the answer? Does it I want specify? old Shang Soon. I want Mortal Just... Kombat one old guy Shang Soon. Yeah. Mm-hmm. His uh. So yeah, I, it doesn't specify, but I'm sure he'll let us know in the comments. He's okay. he's in here. Uh, his number five is MK3 Shao Kahn. Uh, I do believe like you know we've we don't have Shao Kahn anymore, so it'd be cool to get some new version of Shao Kahn. Right. Uh, his number four is UMK three Rain. Uh, I would like to see that. His three is Tremor. I know I've seen se- several people want Tremor. I know that someone did like a custom one also, and I I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, his cool. two is Chameleon, both UMK three and the MK Armageddon version. So he wants two figures out of that one. <laughs> and number one, Kintaro. Uh, that one I for sure know that like a lot of people have been asking for Kintaro. So. Yeah, he's, he's kind of the, la- the last sub boss we need because you know mm-hmm. we got Motaro right now is available. We had Goro, obviously Shang Tsung, or not Shang Tsung, sorry, Shao Kahn. Uh, yeah, if we get Kentaro, that'd be awesome. He would be a big figure, like mm-hmm. like double Doomsday size figure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Like uh, our good friend Corey was like, he uh, he, he had uh, talked about that, so I was like, oh man, that is like one of the last ones we're missing. Come on, yeah. Storm, we're waiting. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he's a big dude. He's got the tiger stripes. He's gnarly. But in the meantime, we have evil Ryu, so... We do. He's, yeah. got, a, he's got his heart ripped out of his chest there. Mm-hmm. He it comes with really cool effects. Like, you can, like, those effects can go onto probably other uh, flame... Uh, I mean, storm collectibles. So, you know, those flame effects do look good, and I do like them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a big uh, sucker for accessories. Look at that face. Yeah. Now, uh, someone pointed out in the comments, I remember reading this, that... Uh, his eyes are yellow in this figure, but in this version of Street Fighter 4, uh, they don't believe his eyes were yellow at the time. 
Hmm. I cannot confirm nor deny. I don't remember, but that just shows the level of dedication for. I mean, it's coming from a fan, so I'm pretty sure it's true. <laughs> uh, <laughs> for but sure, it's, uh, that's a, that's an interesting thing to note. So, yeah. attaboy on that one. Could just be for the stylistic approach, you know. Sure. Yeah. I love how really know everything. His angry eyes. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. like the kid that like, no, nah, that's not the seventies Godzilla. The seventy <laughs> Godzilla's wearing a leather jacket and. He's got awful. six toes. He's like Fonzie. Yeah. He's like, hey. Hey. Oh, man. Look at that kick. Spinning kick. I bet, I bet that kid looked at you, AJ, like you were the dumbest person in the world when you said <laughs> that, too, right? And then you had to like go back to the back to work like, oh, man, I just got put in my place by like an eight-year-old. That, if they know what they're talking about, for, I don't mind. That's man. fair. That is fair. Super figure. Coming out August. Soon. That's soon. Oh, I think they have two figures coming out in August. Yeah, I just can't believe like it's already you know April. <laughs> I know time's flying. Oh, I know we're already halfway through April. Yeah, uh-huh. people that do their taxes. <laughs> <laughs> so, so more Samurai Showdown. This is exciting. A new character. Mm-hmm. Looking forward like, to uh, I know a lot of people have uh, paid attention to the very sharp uh, crutch area because when it, I think like one of the fa- like one of the photos is like when it bends the leg, it gets a little too. You know, you can see it. Like you can see how sharp that uh, design piece is. Uh, I mean, I'm not gonna be mad about it just because, like, when it stands, it looks great. So, right. I like this figure. I can't wait. I actually didn't even realize till now that her bird, her hawk, can change its wings. So I'm gonna 100% have it posed with wings open. <laughs> yeah. So it's either perched on her arm or wings mm-hmm. open, which is great. And then someone had asked. Uh, I didn't get a chance to respond, but I saw the comment. Uh, if the bird comes with a stand, and I don't believe it does. I think it's just either on her arm. But, I mean, if it's flying, I feel like it should come with a stand. So, I, I don't know the answer to that. I'll have to get back to you on that. Yeah, we'll have to wait till it, like a sample shows up, and then we get to see it ourselves. Yeah, yeah. I, I wish I could help you out, but I do not know the answer at this time. And Mr. Vader's fist uh, finally uh, solved the eye situation with, Ryu, with evil Ryu, uh, the red-yellow. He says he has... Hungry eyes. Ooh. Thanks for bringing it back, Mr. Beta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean with the with the middle section there. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Like super pointy, but I mean when it's standing up, it looks good. So. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Moving on to Blitzway with Where's Waldo? Yeah, found three of them. <laughs> it's right there. Actually, all three are not it. Yeah. It used to be way harder when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> totally. So there's two versions of, of this. There's a 1-6 scale, which you're looking at right now, which is pretty big. So $189. It's actually available on bluefinbrands.com. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. We're very excited about this figure and uh, can't wait to get our hands on it. And then there's also... Um, a 112 scale, and there's two versions of this. There's the DX version, which is $99, and then there is the uh, sort of regular a la carte version, which I don't ha- I don't remember the price off the top of my head. It might be like 60 if one of you can go to bluefinbrands.com to, to verify that. That'd be awesome, AJ. Um, but uh, you can see that it has the book, and inside the book, you can actually store all of his accessories, which is really cool. Oh, so, you, so it is just a storage spot. That's cool. Yeah. Because yeah. it comes with a t- ton of accessories. It's got like uh, a little snorkel thing, camera. Fifty nine dollars. Fifty nine. Okay, that's right. Sixty bucks. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So um, yeah, he's got a ton of accessories. He's got the cup. He's got the binoculars. He's got a camera. He's got a snorkel. Mm-hmm. Um, all that stuff you can just kind of cram inside the the book. It's pretty great. But the regular one doesn't come with a dog, and I'm all about it. So the D and the deluxe version it is. Yeah. And yeah. uh, that one is October, whereas I believe the other one is November. The one six scale, I'm pretty sure, was November. Uh, month behind each other. Cool. I mean, one but, is bigger, so. Right. And it's hard to hide. <laughs> <laughs> right there. Yeah. It'd be, it'd be a fun little, you know, if you were to get the, uh, you know, the 112 scale and put it with like all of your other like figure arts or something like that, just be like, mm-hmm. just like a fun thing, like, to where people just be looking at your collection, looking at your collection, like, you son of a gun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, as far as like 112 scale, I would love like I have like a bunch of rider figures and I'll just prop like I'll I'll put a Waldo right there and they'll be like, who's that? Uh you found him. <laughs> yeah. That's Ryder Waldo. Yeah. Uh-huh. You must not be from the nineties or <laughs> early two thousands. <2000s. laughs> He's got a book. Yeah. 
My goodness. Yeah, there was a time when everyone just had like Calvin and Hobbes books and, and Far Side stuff and, and Waldo. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. So Bruce Lee, very excited about this statue. Uh, this is um, it's a beautiful piece. And I can't tell you how like just gorgeous that Bruce Lee turned out in this statue. And um, one of the things that people were pointing out that um, his pants looked incorrect, but they actually have a, a lace on it that you can actually untie his pants. They're not they're not sort of the uh, that elastic pant thing with the, without a tie. They they 100 percent have a tie that Blitzway says and wow. has confirmed that you can untie the lace, which is pretty cool. With and consent. As, yes. <laughs> which is really neat, though, because, I mean, we were playing around with that Dr. BB figure and all of the little pieces on it are like working snaps and buttons and uh, Blitzway just goes so far uh, like above and beyond when it comes mm. to detail. And uh, I mean, their their stuff can be a little bit more on the higher end. Like you can see that this statue is $549. But uh, when you have it in your hands, you can just feel the value. So mm -hmm. David's holding the Dr. BB right now and everything on that figure works you know there's all these little wow. uh, fasteners and pockets and you can literally just play dress up with this thing it is, it is so freaking cool and um i mean I was, I was playing with this thing for like two hours when i was at the office when we were taking it out of the box <laughs> i was like oh my god it does this it does that it does this and uh it's, it's just super cool and uh I'm just 100% in love with it. And so for me, I had never, I didn't have any experience with any Blitzway stuff. And so that was one of my first pieces to actually get my hands on. And the same with Jimi Hendrix. Uh, you know, he's got the cigarette and the, and the guitar pick and, you know, the broken guitar piece and his hair feels like incredible. And uh, this just closed the level of tailoring that's on him. Everything about him is just incredible. And uh, Blitzway just goes all out when it comes to their detail. Mm. And so uh, I think you can expect the same for this Bruce Lee. And he's actually huge. Uh, you know, it's one four scale. That's that's a big figure. Or you just need rather. four Bruce. Lee. You need four of these to make the real size. <laughs> right size. Oh, and you're man. ready to rock and roll. I mean, that that just looks so realistic. It's incredible. Yeah, and it comes with this really cool looking stand, right? Like that. Uh, it looks like it's made of stone. Yeah. As far as like that first photo, uh, and I think uh, just from looking at the that photo, I think there's like different uh, martial art moves on there. So that's really cool detail. I think Blitzway is just 100 percent great at getting the details right. Absolutely. Yeah. Look at how yeah, big it is. Yeah, their artists are like second to none, and. It's cool. Even on the back of the box, they'll list like the artist, like who sculpted what part, oh, really? you know, who was the painter, and stuff like that. Just because, I mean, it is truly, you know, art, art artisanship, and uh, so it's great <laughs> to see them given their uh, their just dues. Yeah, when we were looking at the box for Doctor Beaver, like David, there's credits on this box. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a movie. This is yeah. incredible. Where's my I mean, credit it's well, it's well deserved. Like, look at this. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, that's great. So. That's it. And that is available on bluefinbrands.com as well. So check cool. it out. Very exciting. Like, uh, Jason Schwab says, if you combine all four Bruce Lees, do you get Captain Planet? Uh oh. Mm. I don't know the answer to that. <laughs> Only if it's the Don Cheadle version of Captain Planet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. One year at Casenio Comic Con, David and I bumped into a Captain Planet, and he had just his. He was pretty much a naked man with his costume painted on, and it was, it was gorgeous. But. It was also a hot summer day. <laughs> so That's the terrifying. Paint, the sweat was melting <laughs> the paint away. Oh, I had to find a cool spot for that guy. Yeah. No, but if, but, no but if I if I had his abs, I would have uh, I would have done the same thing. Oh sure, sure. Yeah. I, I think most of us can pull off the uh, the the fat Thor pretty well, but um, Captain Planet's a tough sell for us. I've been training my whole life to be bod, dad bod <laughs> Thor. <laughs> right, right. Or like Leonidas from 300. I don't. I don't know if I could ever achieve that level of, of abs. <laughs> no, I could be the hunchback guy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there you go. Easy, His easy. name escapes me. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, not Quasimodo. Yeah. Uh, Mikey is saying more storm. So you know, just like we've said before, you know, we have got nothing to hide. So when there's like new storm items revealed, we're definitely just going to share that on uh storm collect us on all our on our social media from like facebook twitter instagram like you know we want everyone else to get just as excited as we are when we see this so right like, 
It's a it's a race to post it as soon as we we know about it. We're like, oh my god, this is incredible. <laughs> we usually wait because because they're in Hong Kong, right? So yeah, while while we're sleeping, they're they're working hard to send us these awesome images, and then so when we crawl out of bed, we're like, oh my god, this happened. And sometimes it's like the day before, so like on our Sunday, they're starting to send stuff. But since our so we're not really open on the Sunday, you know, we don't see it till Monday. Yeah, so, yeah. And sometimes they get a little overzealous, and they're like, "You know what? We're just gonna post it. <laughs> They'll figure it out. They'll figure it out. Yeah. 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 I think we have more than one. I, I like one. Jason Schwab's idea of uh, a Christopher Lambert Raiden storm figure. Ooh, Ooh, now we're talking with him laughing. <laughs> <laughs> the fate of billions <laughs> <laughs> depends upon you. <laughs> Any news about getting more SHF riders, especially P Bandai ones? I really appreciate Zero One and Vulcan from you guys last year. Uh, so far, I personally don't know about anything of like uh, riders on P Bandai as much as I would love to have uh, those exclusives <laughs> on our P Bandai. I know, like, you know, there's a lot of people out there who are like, everything's P Bandai now. Uh, but I'm like, I guess you've never bought rider SH figures because. They're all web exclusive or P Bandai, so I'm used to this life. Uh, I do know that our blades will be coming in soon. I know he's the pair for uh, for Saber, so you know, just like uh, Zero One and Vulcan this year, we're gonna get Saber and I think Dave blades. has one. Dave has one in the office oh, there. Yeah, bring him around. Maybe what? there he is. Oh, cool. Cool. He exists, <laughs> and he's pretty incredible. Yeah. yeah. The SH figures are getting a lot better and better, like as years go on with like better technology. So, at this point, like get one to one scale. <laughs> what a fun <laughs> yeah. show and tell day this was. Yeah. I know you got a little bit of everything. Oh. What are you guys looking forward to the most out of everything we've shown? Uh, me personally. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, I don't even know, man. Probably the Windblade. I'm pretty pretty pumped about that. Looking forward to putting one together. Yeah, Windblade Wind Blade's definitely cool. Uh, I know we didn't show the the Power Ranger one, but you know that that's something I'm definitely excited about. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, Bruce Lee is very personal to me and my father. We used to watch Bruce Lee Kung Fu movies every Saturday, every Saturday or Sunday. Uh, so uh, I'm definitely into the the Blitzway Bruce Lee figure. Statue. Yeah, it's gorgeous. What about you? <laughs> I'm looking at right now since David's got all the Ichibancho, and I love me the Ichibancho statues. I am probably excited more for those just because. You know the collection grows and grows, and so I can add a TNL to it, or I can add a a different Yamcha that's not a meme type. <laughs> <laughs> he's, yeah, that Yamcha is pretty angry. Yeah, so. he's, he's got the got the two finger point. He's he's ready to pound some face. <laughs> Funny you said yeah, TN. He's the only one I didn't open over here. <laughs> I know. I was like, why is I just see a box? Uh, I we actually like, oh. uh, shot a video for those yesterday, so those should be up on the YouTube channel soon. Cool. Yeah. And this one also has a permanent place in our studio now. This was one of the other ones that was released. Super Saiyan God, Goku. You know, yeah. we see a lot of we see a lot of blue. We don't get a lot of love for, you know, just the red Super hair. Saiyan God, the red. So uh, it's cool. It's got these, you know, it's got the flame at the bottom. It's got, you know, you know, the, the lightning come the, the, the Saiyan effect coming out of the sides. Um, mm-hmm. but it's a it's a it's a really cool piece. Yeah. So we there's a couple comments like I know Randall uh, Burke on our chat saying, uh, "Dave, is that drift on the shelf on the right?" It is. It sure is. Oh man, it's so the, it's the regular. It's the it's the it's the the original version, the white version. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think we have a pre order, don't we? Like, there's a the model kit one too coming out soon, or something like that. Yeah, no, uh, is that a shattered glass one though? It's shattered glass. Yeah, drift shattered is, glass. Yeah, it's up for pre order right now. Yeah. Uh, Joshua Gallic has said, "Did I miss Aries, or did you not show?" So, yeah, Didn't Aries is Aries. Yeah, Aries is one of those other ones that are coming out from Storm. Uh, so, when we get him in, we'll let everyone else know that he has arrived. And you know, I'm sure we're going to be doing a video for him too once he gets here. So, look forward to that. Yeah, yeah, the first time we saw Aries was at New York uh, New York Toy Fair in 2020, way back way back then. Oh man! <laughs> and uh, I remember it had one of those uh, way, uh, subject to license or approval, and uh, I kind of got the impression like, oh yeah, I don't know if we're gonna get license approval. And I was like, oh man, this looks really really cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, but so yeah, I'm glad that that we've that we've been able to post about it and that it is coming and uh, how incredible it looks. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, any news on the MK2 Molina figure from Storm? No. <laughs> that, <is not. laughs> that was an easy yeah. one. 
Yeah. yeah. Like we said, anytime we get news, we are going to share it. There's no way we're not going to share something like that, that big of a news with every, with, right. uh, from everyone. So yeah. I have to imagine Molina is coming just because, you know, cost wise, you know, it's, it's definitely easy to make, you know, like the ninjas and, you know, Molina, Katana, you know, all of those, Jade, you know, they're all very similar molds and stuff like that. So, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if, if we get a Molina in the relatively mm-hmm. near future. Yeah, and I think in one of our other previous live streams where we did have Jared, who was a brand manager for, for Storm, was saying, like, you know, there's it takes time for this stuff. It's not just like, hey, I want this, and it gets built. It's There's a lot of approvals and steps you got to jump through. So, right. No. And, and Storm is, they're pretty, they're pretty good about jumping the gun and showing the prototype teasers uh, way in advance. So as soon as they're working on it, I can assure you that they will let you know. Yeah. Yeah. Typically, you get it approved by the by the license holder. <laughs> then you make a prototype, and then you get that approved. Sometimes Storm will just be like, "I want to make this figure. <laughs> Let's right. make it. We'll display it, and then we'll worry about getting permission later." <laughs> right. And then Toy Fair display it was nothing but pending license or approval. Pending license or approval. Yeah. There's great. a lot. There's a lot of people out there waiting for some uh, other older Storm stuff that we have shown in the past. So, trust me, I'm with you guys. I can't wait for them to ever show up. So. Yeah, and of yeah. course, Storm, like kind of like Tamashi, they always have those San Diego Comic Con exclusives and New York Comic Con exclusives. So, mm-hmm. uh, I would, uh, I, I'd, I'd be ready to, to, to drop your jaw in the near future. Yeah, absolutely. And you are not alone with the Naruto figure arts. Um, mm-hmm. Same with uh, JoJo figure arts. Uh, we, we see oh, the comments. Man. We had the discussions. Um, doing everything that we can. Yeah, if there were JoJo figures, like figure arts like that, I would be the first up on that and ready <laughs> to pose them. Uh, like I would, I don't know if they would be two packs because they should be if they include stands. But I can't wait. If those were a thing, count me in on that. <laughs> Love me, my JoJos. AJ is gonna buy them all. I would. There are a lot of good JoJo characters out there, and then there's just some I don't care about. But you know, <laughs> that's a whole like, different story. Like, like any franchise. <laughs> Yeah, you can't love them all. For every Vegeta, there's got to be, I don't know, some. I like all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of uh, someone I don't like in Dragon Ball. Someone said, "Sorry, I'm late to the party, but did you announce anything on Doctor BB Hunter's Blitzway? I think we just we just showed uh, we just showed the figure. We didn't really announce anything for it. Yeah, uh, it's sold out everywhere. So mm-hmm. uh, unfortunately, uh, you will have to just try your hardest to track one down and hopefully you don't pay too much for it. I believe it originally retailed for $300. Um, so hopefully you can get it close to that dollar amount. But uh, yeah, I, I'm with you, man. I, I wanted a Dr. BB, but I didn't, I didn't, uh, it was all new to me because it's, you Wait know, to the game. Own, yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. like their own standalone little, you know, property that they're doing. And I was like, what the heck is a, is a Dr. BB Hunter. So mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't understand what I'm looking at. And then when I saw it and got my hands on it, I was like, oh my God, Dave, I have to have this. Mm-hmm. And and it, it just goes to show here, like how it lives. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it just goes to show like these collectibles are exactly what they are collectibles. Like you, you miss out these things usually, like Clark said, these things are usually one and done. Like reprints are rare to come. So, you know, if you see it and you're like on the fence about it, might have to do some research. But other than that, you know, don't miss out on that stuff. So whenever we go like, hey, this item's available for pre-order and you don't order it then and then it comes out and you're like, oh, I didn't get it. You know, <laughs> that's not on us. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. And, you know, a lot of places have, you know, to where I know there's always concern about paying until it ships. You know, Amazon, you don't pay for it until it ships. Big Bad, you don't pay for it until it ships. Entertainment Earth, same thing. So, um, you know, you can just have, or I think even TF Source has the same thing where you can sort of have a loot pile and then it all ships when it's when it's ready to go. So um, even if you just want to secure that pre-order and then make sure that, you know, everything is good to go, um, that's another way to, to do it. Just so you can pounce, mm-hmm. be ready. Yeah. Or if your burgling skills are, you're confident in those, you could just come get this one. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of lasers and heat temperature adjustments and all kinds of stuff. It's like Catherine Zeta-Jones when she's doing that little sneaking under the, the red beam in that movie that I forget what it's called. <laughs> That's it. Entrapment. <laughs> uh, we got, someone says, any news on the Furai Megazord? Hope it's not an April Fool's joke. It is not an April Fool's joke. We would never play a joke like that, especially since Clark is an avid fan of the series itself and loves his uh, figures and or model kits. 
So yes. that is a real item coming soon. And once we get more info, we'll definitely share it with you. If we were to ever do an April Fool's joke, it would be fun, not mean like that. Right. <laughs> and and we, we tried to do one once, but we talked ourselves out of it. We didn't want to be that company. <laughs> but it was pretty funny. It was like uh, Ochoro, and it was Goro with eight arms. and It was <laughs> it was Gorocho. Gorocho, that's what it was. Oh, Gorocho. man. It was Photoshop eight arms and onto yeah. Goro. But uh, we talked ourselves out of it. We're like, eh. yeah. When the Megazord was announced, I even had to like put this is not an April Fool's joke. <laughs> yeah, it was just poor timing, I guess. Yeah. You know, April first, like, no, <laughs> it's too bad. Yeah, we're we're honest. We're we're those yeah. people. We are. I want yeah. everyone to know that we're getting this stuff and that you know it's coming soon and that as much info as we get, that's as much as we're sharing with everyone as well. So you know, we're not really hiding anything for that. Right. Yeah. And, and and we and we try to have direct communication with with the with the vendors. So if there's something that you want, you know, like you guys are all great about sharing these lists with us uh, and telling us on social media like what you're looking for, and we do relay this information directly to you know Storm and Tamashi and Hobby and all of these places. So you are you are definitely not wasting your breath. You are in no way ever bothering us. I know we made the joke earlier about Super Saiyan Three Goku. Uh, I was not calling anyone out. I promise, Blue. That wasn't that wasn't about you. That was about a dedicated Twitter account that's like at ssj3 goku when or something like that right. um yeah we, we we know we know we know the true fans and we and we know how much you guys want stuff and you know obviously we want to give you everything we can but you know there's only so much plastic in the world that we can mold <laughs> in time so um it's it's a good bet that most everything that you guys are asking for you know you'll probably get eventually you know assuming these lines continue you, know, you guys have been great about you know uh, supporting all these lines and that's why they continue that's why there's a million Dragon Ball SHF and that's why there's so many Mortal Kombat figures from Storm is because you know you guys support the line you guys are passionate about the line you guys take pictures toy photography goes a long way there's so many like Mr Vader's fist is in here or you're talking about taking pictures of the Waldo figure you know things like that go a really really long way because. You know, once to, once Tamashi or Storm sees their figure pose with these amazing lights, and you know, even even if you're just an amateur who sets it in front of their brick wall and stuff like that, they see the passion and they see how much you love it, and that goes so far with with both us and the vendor. Just make sure you always tag us at Bluefin Brands. Uh, Justin and AJ do an amazing job of trying to share everything, assuming it's not inappropriate. Right? <laughs> Board, yeah. Borderline inappropriate will probably get shared. But know. you know, I always hate it when there's music with a video because I'm like, damn it, now I gotta listen to all the lyrics too. <laughs> Just make sure that they're not saying anything horrible. But yeah, absolutely. I'm happy to share whatever you send our way. Always tag. Yeah. And if you're on also, TikTok, tag us on TikTok. Yes. <laughs> also, we do do those surveys too. So whenever we put those out there, you should be taking those. Like those are the ones usually where we ask, hey, what do you want? And uh those go further than uh you know, just saying it and typing it as a comment. Right. Those co- those surveys get handed over to them. Like, this is your top five of what people want. Right. So when you yeah. put King of the Hill, you know they're, <laughs> they're listening. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I, will, I will tell you that the surveys do count because you know Justin and I are part of a Tamashi meeting every Monday, and there was there's 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 a figure that 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 was that was heavily put on a survey that wasn't even something that was on anybody's radar, and we're like, wow, there's a big a lot of people want this one. And uh, you're going to get it pretty soon. So um, so make sure oh, that you always snap. share always share what you want on these surveys. Even if even if your list is 200 long, you know, mm-hmm. if you got the time to type them out, you know, go for it. Yeah. Or whatever Twitter allows with, with their character limits. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Which is not a lot. You got to get creative on, on Twitter sometimes. Mm-hmm. Instagram, you write a whole novel, but Twitter, it's, it's rough. But... SH Monster <clears throat> Arts. Other than the Godzilla... And the Zenoger. Yeah, the yeah. Zenoger is also one that is coming out. So not really much on that end, but those two are really good. So Yeah. Yeah. And I know Kong everyone Godzilla wants are coming soon. Right. Kong Godzilla come out next month. And then everyone wants uh Mecha Godzilla and Tamashi has not announced anything yet. Uh we have not announced anything yet. But um who knows? Just because we haven't doesn't mean it won't be, but you never right. can tell. The film is not out in Japan yet, so uh, you know I think oh, it comes man. out in Japan in May, I believe. I don't, I think so. So uh, you know, maybe stay tuned. <laughs> yeah, as soon as they see it, we need to make that <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. 
So. Uh, well, great. I think we are at time. Uh, did you guys have anything else you wanted to add before we said bye bye to everybody? I, I just want to say so. thank you to everyone who has joined us on chat. I think this has been really lively with everyone. So, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Oh, hey, Jinx. Yeah, <laughs> and re <laughs> remember to go to bluefinbrands.com slash contest to enter to win the um, Shokugan Ava giveaway. Mm -hmm. There, three awesome. days left. <laughs> three days left. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. definitely do that. Easy peasy. You can enter and every day. Yes. And of course, follow at Bluefin Brands across all social media platforms. Uh, we are going to be going crazy town banana pants with videos. So be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, which is, of course, uh, Bluefin Video. Uh, we're going to be yeah. pumping out video content like crazy. Uh, going to do quick looks and deep dives and all sorts of types of things. So definitely keep your face glued to your monitor. We want yeah. you to see them all. Yep. We don't usually say it, but now you got to hit that subscribe button. <laughs> Yeah, like, yeah. comment, smash that like button. <laughs> yeah, hit the bell, those guys. Yeah. ring that bell, cowbell. Cowbell's <laughs> a thing in our office, so uh -huh. hit cowbell. Ooh, what about Storm Killer Instincts, real quick? Uh, yeah, we have plenty of people on fighting this fight for you. <laughs> Definitely yeah, want. There is, if I Instinct, remember though. the top list, it's like Killer Instinct. Uh, Ra uh, I think it was that Halo. Primal Rage. Some, maybe? Yeah, Primal Rage. There was even some for like Resident Evil. So. You know, you're not alone when it comes to wanting right. these uh, lines. Right. And same with Guilty Gear. Don't we already have yes. something for Guilty Gear already? Uh, yeah, we had yeah. announced one figure for Guilty Gear. And yeah. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> sure. I want a full gore from Killer Instinct. That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. Let's throw that yeah. out there. And that wolf guy. Saber Wolf, was that his name? Is it? Maybe? I don't remember I don't his name all the way. <laughs> he was all blue and spinny with claws. Mm -hmm. I think I played as as Lily. I think is the character's name because she could do a hundred percent combo. <laughs> oh, my say it's been it, a while. <laughs> yeah, and it, her combo was easy to do. So if you didn't know like how to do a combo breaker, it was like an instant win. So oh man, can't do that. No, I would be an instant that's loss. What Jason said. All right, I was right. <laughs> Don't encourage him. <laughs> yeah, I know everything. I'm that guy. Ooh, Metal Gear. Now we're talking. So I there had. You go. I have all the Metal Gear figures, at least Metal Gear Solid figures from McFarlane back in like 99. And I just pulled them out of a tub like two or three months ago. And they are just so awesome. And I want them to come back. I would love to have more Metal Gear toys. Oh, my goodness. And Yakuza, that would be awesome, too. A little Storm Superman. Oh, my God. We had a Superman on display at uh, Toy Fair. For Storm. Justice. Yeah. So there you have it. Got to get it made. Pending licensor approval. <laughs> 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 yes but pending license or approval oh my gosh well cool yeah take us out dave thank you again everyone for joining us yeah, yeah thank so you. thanks for joining us you know make sure to go to bluefinbrands.com to check out some of the items that uh, we talked about today uh, we have some available on our site for pre-order or for purchase uh, as well as links to some of the other items uh, that we may not be able to carry on our site uh, make sure to follow us at bluefin brands that is the best place to keep up with everything whether that's live streams giveaways, promotions, special deals, or just if you want to hang out and chat with us, you know, we, we try to respond to as many people as possible when you're nice. <laughs> uh, you know, keep it civil and, and we'll definitely interact with you. Uh, and like Justin mentioned, make sure to go to bluefinbrands.com slash contest to enter to win the Shokugan Ava frame. You're going to get all three of the main Avas, Ava 1, Ava 2, Ava 0, uh, as well as, you know, so, some really great accessories, you know, like the launch bays, a uh, bunch of weapons, uh, and uh, they're just really, really cool items to put on your desk. So until next Friday uh, for our next Bluefin Hangout, uh, we will see you guys later. Thanks for joining us. Bye, guys. Thank you so much. You are the best.